You ready? You're listening to The Real Pineapple Podcast Network. is directed by Yoval Adler, who has uh, directed a couple other films, uh, such as Bethlehem, uh, The Operative, and The Secrets We, uh, the Secrets we Keep. Uh, the Secrets We Keep also stars uh, Joe uh, Kinnaman, who, of course, we is in this movie as well. You know him, of course, from uh, The Informer, as the aforementioned Secrets We Keep, uh, Suicide, and The Suicide Squad. Um, the RoboCop remake uh, that they did in 2014, which is actually pretty good. I, I think that movie is uh, given a bit of a bad rep. I, I think it's uh, I think it's better than people remember. Um, I, I I wasn't crazy about it when I saw it, but for some reason I caught it again on TV, and I was like, you know, it's like okay, this kind of works. Anyways, and of course Nicolas Cage, who is one of my favorite actors in the game. I, I fucking love Nicolas Cage. I could go down the list, you know, Moonstruck, Face Off, uh, uh, Snake Eyes, um, oh, Mom, Bring Not the Dead. I should have reviewed Bring Not the Dead. I haven't reviewed that. That's a great fucking movie. Uh, City of Angels, fuck you. City of Angels is great. The Family Man, Kick-Ass, uh, The Croods, uh, Pig, which was one of my favorite films of 2021 uh nicholas cage fucking rules and what i'll say about this is this is very much a nicholas cage movie it's him in this insane you know basically boogeyman sort of role where he's just it takes advantage of his uh eccentric uh <laughs> abilities of acting that that's all but it but I do think Nicolas Cage is just a great fucking actor. Um, I haven't reviewed uh, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. I, I don't have an excuse. I just haven't reviewed it yet. I am going to need to review it because that movie is fucking wonderful. But um, but Nicolas Cage is exactly what I want in this movie. Um, I will say this is a quick watch. This is a solid 90 minutes uh, lean, lean cut, not over stance, welcome, knows what it needs to be, gets in, gets out. Um, my biggest compliment I can say about this movie is the plot itself is pretty, it, it goes kind of where you expect it to as far as why this is happening. There is a point where you just kind of go, well, it, the way you're pointing me, it kind of needs to be at least based on this thing. And it, it's explained well enough for you to appreciate it, but they definitely don't deep dive into why all this is happening it's given a very simple explanation and i went you know what that's fine for me um if, if you're i could see some people kind of going oh that's it but honestly for me i went you know what that that's fine for 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 what this is is that that's fine but the movie is as far uh, as far as the plot uh joel kinnaman um, you don't really learn their names until really late in the movie. They just kind of refer to him as the driver, uh, Joel Kinnaman, and the passenger, Nicolas Cage. So uh, the driver is going in, he's in Vegas, and he's going to a hospital where his wife is about to give birth to their new, uh, I believe it's a daughter. And Nicolas Cage, as the passenger, just opens his ba uh, his back seat or his uh the, his back door jumps in his back seat and puts a gun to his head and says drive and it's such an intense way that it, in which he does it because the driver initially when he sees cage he's like okay you you know i'm not an uber you know you're a hospital you know that could be an easy uh thing to mix up and he just goes oh yeah no no, no i know exactly what i'm doing fucking drive and it becomes, it's not as good as this, but it's kind of like the taking of Pelham 123 in a cab. That's very much kind of, you could tell that was definitely an influence on this movie, as well as something like Collateral. And it's just not as good as either of those. But I think this is 
a fun it's a fun sprint. Uh, the back and forth between Cage and Kinnaman is actually quite interesting. Cage is just getting, as the passenger, he's just getting more and more irritated with the fact that Kinnaman is even questioning why any of this is happening, which in itself is a very dark but hilarious joke. And some of the reactions that Cage has to things that the, dr- the driver says are fucking fantastic. There is a scene that's uh, teased in the trailer uh, involving a police officer that goes ahead and pulls uh, the driver and the passenger over. And the way that whole scene plays out in the dialogue afterwards is, if not my favorite scene, my second favorite scene in the movie, it's, it's fucking wonderful and it's fucking hilarious and dark at the same time. It, it balances a lot of different tones pretty, pretty effectively. And, and that's one of the bigger compliments I can, I can give this film. But you're never unaware of the danger because of how the film's formatted. But even as Cage is being, you know, funny, you realize he could shoot, <laughs> he could shoot this guy at any time. So th- the film does a pretty good job with building tension but maintaining it uh, throughout the ninety-minute runtime. There's this point where the driver flat out go- pulls the look. You know, I'm about to be a dad. My, my wife's in the hospital, you know, I love my family, and <laughs> and the, uh, or the driver pulls that, and Cage, just the passenger, just glares at him, and flat out goes, I thought you were, I thought you were better than that, I thought you were better than going with that, cle- that tired cliche, and it's in that moment you realize how much of a back and forth this is going to be, because Cage is just not having his bullshit. But at the same time, Cage has no room to be agitated because he's holding this motherfucker at gunpoint. And there are some there are some fight scenes between the two of them that I thought were actually pretty uh, pretty well executed, given you know what what I think is a pretty modest budget, but also given the circumstances, uh, there is a point where the passenger or the uh, the driver flat out just tries to wreck the car, and the way that whole scene plays out, which leads into a scene that was teased in the uh, trailer for the film where they end up at this diner that whole sequence the whole all the stuff within the diner i had an absolute blast with it 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 gives it acts almost like a second uh bottle film uh within what is essentially a bottle film since you know they're in the cab for most of the film but i i had a lot of fun with this I, i i like what you find out about cage's character and kind of why all this is is happening there is a great use of Le- of uh, alicia bridges uh i love the nightlife there's a great use of that song that's a great fucking song by the way if you've not listened to that highly recommend that you do um but that's a great that's a great fucking song and the way they use that in this one scene is just delightful but i had a lot of fun with this movie it, it's it's a perfect perfect movie to watch at home you know and, and I know I've ranted about this before, but, you know, in the age of streaming, I don't need everything to be a home run. You know, I can watch something at home and just be entertained and go, you know what, that was fun for what it is, or for what it was. And and this is one of those movies that I ended up buying because it was on sale for, like, six bucks. And, yeah, like, six bucks. Yeah, this is worth six bucks. Uh, this will be something that I'll, you know, I might just be scrolling through my... Uh, my prime video library and go oh yeah you know what why not let's throw this on it's it's a fun watch like i said it's an easy watch as well um it's not going to be on any anyone's best of but i do think that the performances between kinnaman and cage and their chemistry together especially does work really well so this is a solid c plus for me um yeah uh if this is on sale on black friday or or uh, right now i'm not sure if it's on sale right now but <clears throat> but yeah, it, it, this is it's fun. It's a fun flick, and I think if you rented it, you'd be like, you know what, that was fun. So yeah, C C plus. But uh, sympathy for the devil, everyone. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Let us know in the comments. Uh, you can follow us on all the socials because we're almost everywhere. <laughs> you can follow us on socials at uh, linktr.ee slash jhunter real pineapple. Uh, you can follow me on Blue Sky at Real Pineapple. That's R E E L Pineapple. Dot B S K Y 
www.thinkingdog.social. Uh, shoot me an email. Let me know what you think of the show. If you have any questions, uh, stuff you'd like me to review, um, talk to me. I- I'd love to hear from y'all. You can uh, shoot me an email at jhunter at the real pineapple again r e e l pineapple dot com. You can follow me on TikTok at jhunter real pineapple. You can follow me on Letterbox at black shazam. You can go ahead and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jhunter real pineapple. I am finally finally gonna be streaming here in a couple in a couple weeks so i will let y'all know as we get closer what the exact date and everything will be and the exact time and all that but i've been working getting my backgrounds and stuff finalized for the stream and i'm ready i'm excited but uh you can follow me there and then you can follow the show on youtube at youtube uh just search the real pineapple and we'll pop up and then uh, lastly uh Go ahead and rate the show. Go ahead and leave a like. uh, Rate it. Five stars, please, if you uh, enjoyed it. But uh, go ahead and rate the show. Share it. Like it. It definitely helps us out. You can follow us on SoundCloud, Apple Google Podcasts, Podbean, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Amazon Music, TuneUp, and Samsung Podcasts, to name a few at The Real Pineapple. Uh, Thank you so much for listening, everyone. We're going to have reviews coming up here soon for... Uh, the rest of the month of Halloween, more more scary scary reviews. I'm gonna have a review for the whole Scream uh, series the last week of the month. I'm really excited to bring that to y'all. I've got some other reviews coming out as well uh, for uh, Jennifer's Body. I'm gonna I'm gonna rev- decide if I'm gonna review Nightmare Before Christmas now or if I'm gonna like review it over like the holiday season so i i i'm I'm debating on that one but uh i'll have a review up for that here before the end of the year i'm also gonna have reviews up for the birds uh hitchcock movie which i haven't watched that in a while but i'm really excited to rewatch that Uh, i'm gonna have a review for a halloween heist episode of brooklyn 99 as well as uh the toy story uh 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 halloween special and then i'm gonna review a uh, Simpsons episode, a Treehouse of Horror with uh, uh, Bradley from One of Us dot net. I'm I'm real excited to have him back on the show. I love talking Simpsons. So, uh, yeah, lots of Halloween stuff still coming down the pipeline, everyone. But everyone, thank you so much for listening. Stay safe out there. Take care of each other. Get your COVID booster. Get your flu shot. We're heading into winter months. I want y'all to be safe. Uh, take care of each other, and don't forget to keep it real. Ooh.